Kavichi te gazanti. Where do I cut the calling of Kumala? You have finished registering this one? Yes, sir. One of the president to Kuanga and Akirati are one to Kasawa, a mover to Kuanga. Very good, I should mean it. Ozu Wanga, what didn't he? Minimo Jangola, Colum Security, and Tengaba, but with Jacosa, Kumina Beach, Tundu, and Quem, so Liba and Kaze, Kumina Beach Tundu, and then Sang and Bangalia. We have a number of motorcycles we have intercepted and uh, what I want to say is that we are ready to implement the directives of uh, HE as you are given and make sure that the curfew is not violated. Mm. Now, when we intercepted these people, we have realized that many of them are private security guards and uh, some few who are the cases of sick people and themselves, some of them were sick. Mm. So we have uh, done screening and uh, identified the sick, identified those who had gone to rescue the sick ones and take them to the hospital and we are letting them to go to attend to the sick persons. Uh, two, Security guards also, we are going to allow them to go and continue with the work of, of, of security. But we are cautioning them that tomorrow it should not again be the same. We should ensure that they keep time by 7 o'clock in the evening, they must be at the workplaces. Or if not, they must use the cars that belong to private sector companies that can drive them safely up to the workplace. We have uh, several offenses that we are going to charge them accordingly. And um, we are also saying that unless it is an emergency vehicle that belongs to doctors, and maybe Umeme water that they are responding to a call on Utah at night. We shall also intercept you. But what we have discovered here, most of these vehicles are security personnel, cargo, and some few health workers. Uh, previously it was Chireka and Boyogire and Kamocha, but by yesterday they had complied. And uh, people are willing because they have understood that Corona is real yes. and uh, it can cause a terrible havoc to our community. Mm -hmm. Isolated cells yes. in uh, different stations within our region that we keep putting this kind of uh, suspects okay. that we are going to put them there tonight. Okay. Yes, and then we prepare them to appear in, in court based on the charges that the CID will provide. <laughs> The worst area uh, on road is from Boise to Nabuero, that road. And then, uh, yes, as you have said, in Mombasa, people will still converge and drink. If others even drink behind me, close locked doors. Mm. So, uh, and also the area of uh, 
Kisowera and Kutano. Uh, we still have people who converge, they drink, take maroa, they lock themselves off. And uh, I think that category we have arrested so far over 30. So in total, how many people have you arrested since the operation started? Since the operation started, we have arrested, uh, uh, I'm not going to be very exact, but uh, it is up to a tune of about 60. True, we sometimes, first we have a uh, few unprofessional officers, but uh, in order to mitigate this, we make sure before we dispatch patrollers on ground, we brief them. So the command must be a senior officer uh, so that uh, it's able to convey of uh, unprofessional conduct. No, you are telling me about time. what is the time now? You have a watch. What is the time now? 22. So, are you supposed to move at this time? You've told me it is time. So what is the time now? It is already 22. And what is the time you are supposed to be home? Are you aware of curfew? So you are just defiant because you are aware of the curfew and you know that it's already 22, but you are still walking. Why didn't you move nearer to the workplace in time? You are just defiant. So right now, gentlemen, I'm arresting you for defying, disobeying lawful orders of the president right now and i'm taking you to kawepe police station clear let him, enter. let him come you come here just bring your bag come here uh -huh. so, okay.